Hi, David Clark here from XAMO Wine Company, talking about Luddite wines. If you want to see part one uh, for these bad boys, click wherever you need to click. This is part two. We're talking about these ones. So these are the estate wines. So everyone who knows Luddite knows that Luddite make a Shiraz. And that is the, the wine that put them on the map. Uh, they've been going at it for 21 years now. Really set the standard in the early 2000s for what Shiraz can do in South Africa and continues to really be a uh, icon wine of the, of the country. You'll note that modern South African Shiraz producers prefer Syrah mostly, whereas Niels sticks with Shiraz. He thinks that Syrah should be left to the French and light and fresh. He doesn't make a light and fresh Shiraz. He makes it with punch and weight and texture and and spice, and so he wants, he calling it Shiraz rather. What many people don't know though, is that they also make a Shannon. You'll see on the label there how many bottles they make, which is not many. This is 2,500 uh, versus uh, 6,000 uh, bottles of Lodite Shiraz. We're in the middle of a run of low uh, yielding vintages, unfortunately. So usually these wines, are, well, the Shiraz is up to sort of 12,000, 15,000, but the last few vintages have been sort of 6,000, 7,000. So uh, we're uh, uh, holding thumbs and, and crossing fingers for the 21, 22, 23s. These two wines are very interesting. Whereas I've already said that the Lodite Shiraz is all about weight and power with balance as well, but it has that sort of licorice and dark clove, and it's a real sort of visceral experience. It's a, it, it, it's not a something you can drink casually. It sort of, it impedes on your evening if you have a glass of uh, Lodite Shiraz. But that's, you know, if you want that, then that is your wine. It is a phenomenal wine with something like fillet steak, something with a lot of uh, protein in it, because it is a, uh, is a powerhouse. But it is so complex and long living. We did a, a 10 year vertical recently on the farm and each wine was really, really in good nick. None of them look over the hill at all. So one for the cellar if you if you like aging wines. The Lanark Shannon is the exact opposite. Whereas this one is big and powerful, this one is so light and fresh. I mean, this is 14 and a half, sometimes 15% alcohol, depending on, sometimes 15.5, uh, depending on the vintage. Whereas this on the back level is 12. So the opposite end of the, what sort of, the, the quote unquote normal spectrum of wine. And so here, what he wants to do here is just really explore Shannon as a variety in the in the most uh, unintrusive way possible, i.e. Luddite without any technology. And what that means for him at least is he needs to have acidity in the wine. So he needs to pick early to make sure that, that acidity is still there um, along the ripeness. This wine is uh, also fermented on skins for quite some time, but isn't necessarily an orange wine. I don't think you'd really necessarily call it an orange wine if you just saw it in the glass and you didn't know it was had um, skin contact. So it's one of those wines where uh, labels don't really help. This is the delicious Chenin Blanc. And if you do find it, good on you. Well, <laughs> congratulations. Drink it, it's delicious. Cheers.